Hello there. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Is this working? Yes. How is everybody this evening? Right, it's not quite right, is it? No, it's not quite working, is it? Um. That's too bright. Hmm, might have to try moving the light. Um, not a good way to move it too late. Wait one second. How is that? Is that any better? Not really. How's that? Was that any better? Not really. Just, I can't get it. At, it needs to be in front of me, really, and I can't put it in front of me. Um. Got no way of getting out. I need a little desk lamp that I can, I can, uh, oh, that's a light though. That I can, uh, okay, I have to ditch the lamp for now. Um, okay, the combination of that and that is, I suppose. Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's almost annoying me to was in the way in the background. Yeah, so good evening, everybody. Welcome on the pod. Is that a minute later tonight? Um, I ended up going straight from work, finish work at five o'clock. Um, five o'clock, uh, GMP went straight to my sister's, which wasn't planned, but I'm telling my sister after work. Uh, went for a long one, but the not, and the dogs. Uh, and then I didn't get back here till about an hour ago. And then I had to have food, obviously, and get ready for stream. So I was hoping I was aiming to get started at eight, and then that's that's just when I have lost it. Which is why I shortened the intro from um, from uh, you could not have that along a little bit. That's made no difference whatsoever, is it? Yeah. So shorten the intro from um. Ten to five minutes for tonight's stream. Well, then she's going to pick up where we were left off on Saturday, wasn't it? Um, it was because of the late start. Uh, it's not going to be particularly long soon in the night. I'm hoping to on Friday night. I'm off Fridays as well, so that that makes it a better. Um, I'm hoping Friday we do a bit of a longer stream. Uh, as I'm off Fridays, so yes. Might even have a couple of beers. I mean, I don't know, but yes, yeah, so that's the plan for Friday evening. Don't think I'll do Saturday this this week this week. Um but yes we'll do Friday and then And this is back to what is Fridays. I might check an extra stream in. But I'm gonna because we're really late, we've got a lot to get through to, well what I want to do tonight is do a lot of stuff on City now, which is hence the stream title, and maybe get the first planet. But uh we've got a lot to do, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Um let's uh they're actually that's in the way. Let's mute the music. Music, by the way, this um, music you can hear in the background. Do that now, so don't forget to do it later on. It's uh, DMCA free music by Relica Records. Uh, but Muscle, my good friend, streamer, um, I'm a zero who's coming on his to go from streaming because he's moved house and he has no internet until the I think it's the eighth or ninth of this month uh so yes 
that is his uh, Red Records thing. And also, I did put out today about the stream being delayed on Discord. So, if you're not on the Discord, there's the link. Um, we do have a, a stream schedule channel, so any, any changes to schedule, any schedule, I always pop it in there for you guys to be up to date. So, join the Discord if you wish to do so. Right, let's mute the music for now. Also, close that. Uh, there's a stream. And then I need to check that the stream is actually working. Um, oh, also, I need to make a game, would be a good idea. Oh, should have. Yeah, this audio. Excellent. Um, my channel. Bye. Hope you have a look. So let's just check that is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that is working. Excellent. I can see on the app that that's working, so that is marvellous. Right. So. Where are we going to go first? Um, yeah, I did that Asari concert thing. I did that off stream. And I did, the only thing I did off stream is um, the reading through the codex stuff. So we've got a couple of Citadel missions, we've got Shadow Broker, Gyrus, Exodus, we do all these Citadel stuff, why not, while we're here. Go see Barlavon. Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. Um, so tell me where I'm going to do that? Financial District of the Presidium, okay. Okay, so we perhaps need a uh, we perhaps need to lift the transit, whatever it's called. Loading. Don't normally get a loading message there, do we? I think we need the transit thing to get to the financial district, I have a feeling. Oh. Okay, we haven't got access to the financial district. That's interesting. Um. No matter what scars you bear, you know probably where you can find like a Krogan on like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Commander Shepard. Very nice of you. Very nice. How are you doing? Where's my shout out button? Why is that? Oh, I might not see because it might not show up on my new dad. Um, let's have a look. Oh, no, it's not showing up in the chat, is it? Interesting. Why is that not working? Pretty sure the chatbot is connected.
If someone convinced you of something yesterday, MC Trick. Yeah, nice, very nice. For some reason, my shout out button's not working. Okay, let's just, let's just try the command. Okay, so it's just, it's the button on the stream deck's not working. Interesting. Interesting. Well, last year, I don't know why that suddenly stopped working. But yeah, please do check out Sabiro. It's a pretty awesome stream. But why? Uh, blah. So how is sub zero? Can't disconnect, reconnect. Yeah, it could do. Sometimes, sometimes it's just the app itself. It's sometimes it's just restarting the app. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay, so now I've got to remember how I get to the financial district. Um. Oh, okay. Um, hopefully we should work tomorrow. I hope things get better for me. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get the financial district. Um, maybe I'm going to go to those consort chambers and then walk across to the financial area, maybe? You need to just walk over the bridge. It's been so long since I played this game that my memory where everything is. It must be like a decade since I've last played with this game. Bang. I've got an icon there for the bank. Well, bank, that must be financial, right? That's got to be the financial district. Surely. That would make sense. I think I need to get up onto that up here. Yeah. That's the wrong way. Oh, was that was that the right place to start? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I was in the right place to start with. So we get talked to it redacted before the financial area. Well, the mission I'm doing now is I've got to go talk to Balavon. So that might be who you're thinking of. Um, well, it's actually something of interest. Oh, it's an arena. I already talked to them. I don't need to move. Nope, not Balavon. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. I know, yeah. Way. Forgot about them. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. I have already asked that question. This place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased. No, I think I don't have many credits yet. You um, will not be disappointed. Yeah, oh, no, I've got a uh, fifteen hundred, but oh, fit now something. 
reminds me that I still like the Phoenix stuff. There was a specific set of um, like armor and stuff I used to use. But I can't remember. I might have to if I ever get round to it. Buy up the because I played through this on the, the on the three sixty. So I might have to fire up Mass Effect on my 360 just to look at what armor stuff I used. Um, Sean Dyson, Iceland, how much is that? That's only 100. Interesting. Uh. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. More upgrade. I mean, I could that, but I kind of feel like I should get some more money before I spend anything. Really? Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic... If I get more money, I can buy better rather than buying cheap upgrades to start with. <laughs> oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not Have be disappointed. Have a look. Okay, nothing we get from there. Right now, um, as well, we're there. Keep forgetting that that's. System. Um, to the Balavan. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker, and I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. I to recall that the these are exceptional chat options would be color coded. So I am going to give it to you for free. So like red would be like your yeah, aggressive one year. What's the catch? Green would be like your yeah, no like. Catch. The Shadow Broker is quite a bit of a unless that's a late game, it doesn't. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it a Krogan mercenary. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. 
I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. Well, we're rightly one of the DLCs. Let's see what the Shadow Broker. And I think the Lenniston comes out of the DLC. True master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander.
I went in the med clinic. Okay, we're on the same floor as C sex, so we might as well. A little bit racist, but we'll uh, gloss over that. Interesting, I've got no icon for that. Uh, oh, it's just like Academy. Oh, where's the, where's the Academy then? Maybe that's in the tower. Oh, now that financial district is an option on there now. Thought I had a to get the cash, I can't remember. Something over there we haven't discovered, so we go straight over the bridge. CSEC officer enlisted assistance. What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. 
They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, I don't have the... I mean, I don't have high enough thing to do that. I'll be back. I have to come back to that. I don't this have one like will continue to spread its message.
I'm just in his name. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Big place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans.
Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. <laughs> Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. Yeah, I've forgotten to put the webcam back on. There we go. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Ah, she's saying Henry. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. 
You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Quarian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down, too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Yes. Um. The Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Yeah, isn't that where we came before? Why have we come here? Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Confused. I'm sure that was the way we came in. Yeah, that must have been this one. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you would stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe.
Yes, it must be in the woods. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Enemy contact. My cover? No. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Feast's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Hey, anybody, a moment. Um... Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. 
I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? Yes, my my parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Back last time, was it? Looks like it shut down. This knows we're coming. Heads up! Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer.
Ah, uh, the cover thing wasn't working. The cover controls is terrible. It's all over again. That wasn't a good idea. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Why you shoot away?
kill me, I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Yes, yeah, no remember our crew. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're the stallion. Hello, sir. Commander Shepton. 
How did any of your music play? Um, interesting. Let's hit my shout out button. It wasn't working before when I tried it for... Uh, so we might try the starring button. No. It is not working. Uh, do it manually. How is the commander this evening? That's simply about yourself. Peace, welcome. Hey, here's what we're doing some Discord grinding of MGS PW. Yeah, no problem. Um, and they can't hear me, so let me just pop my webcam back on a second and just go. <laughs> You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, 
Those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. I'm going the wrong way there. Tower, oh, okay. Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. 
and the respect she deserves. on just standing there i wonder if it knows what i'm doing what oh no, no i wasn't never mind um yes is there something you want why are you so interested in the keepers keepers i've got no interest in the keep don't waste our time i can see the lie on your face salarian I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander? Commander? No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is?
Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Woo! Respect it. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard.
Bueno, ya le llevé. Admiral, hello, sir. Speedy little ships. How are you doing, Admiral? Um, I think you were in my stream the other day, weren't you, when I set up the first stream I did from my office, I think. You were there, weren't you? You're alive. I'm still alive. I bet you science. Um, I'm just trying to remember how to get back to the ducking bay. How's the stream looking? Is it is the game streaming alright? Is there any lag? Is the webcam out of sync? Is the audio sound alright? Yes, I've, I've fixed that now. But yeah, how's how's? So I know you mentioned about the, the mic sounding a bit off, a bit tinny or something. How's it sounding? Still complaining about your microphone. The only thing I can think of, Apple, it's the cable. I need a new cable. It doesn't look loose, it looks in. Um, so it might be worse if I can get a new cable for it. I mean, it's, it's your bug standard. Cable, it's a USB one end and then the little, I forget what you call it, a little plug the other side. But I got used on some external hard drives. Um, so I could probably quite easily pick up another cable for a couple of quid. So it might be worth me trying that. Um, in fact, let me just do a quick check while I think of Blue. Yeah. Oh, I got USB to uh, oh, so USB to mini B. It's called a mini B camera. On an Amazon there for seven quid. Cheaper one there for two quid. Yeah, so I might do that. I might uh, pick up another cable. Because it could just literally be the cables um, not working. Like, like damage or something. Um. Where were we? Uh, why is it still got something? Oh, right, yes, I've got to think about that. Yeah, I know. It's going to keep us. Yeah. I don't think Evel, he can hear me. I think he's got. He's in Discord comms. So we can't hear the stream. He's just he's just watching it, I think. Um 
That's sort of what I mean into the mites here, but yeah, there you go. Um, right, so we've got to get to... Just going to take Duffy back there, Joe. Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When I mean, communication with the survey team was I could, what I could do, week, company officials refused to see what I could do over the off stream. I could just do some like, like a weekly recording and, on OBS and then I can hear it back myself. I'll watch the VOD back and hear it myself. Uh, but yeah, um, I can, I can pick up a couple, uh, a, a replacement cable for, for next to now. So I'll try that. Um, by the way, do you think my, uh, Shep oops no no I think my shepherd character resembles me at all. I tried to make him look like me as much as I could. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Yeah, we're just not, uh, not to come off the moment. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me the... I'll check that clip out the lower hand. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia. I think he looks a little bit like me. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara ah, yes. Sony. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me, and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. 
We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. I already have this data. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city, mostly ruins now, but some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Interesting. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Trans see if I can get that. has been kidnapped by that. biotic extremists. Pitching. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Oh, good check that clip as well. I should do that now that you've just sent me. Uh, that's an unfortunate name, isn't it? In the uh, channel, oh, the, the mic sounded a bit off, a bit tinny or something. How's it sounding? Still compared by your microphone. 
The only thing I can think of, Apple, it's the cable. That ain't a new cable. Oh, that's so what you mean, it missed a bit. It doesn't look loose, it looks in. Um. So it might be worth seeing if I can get a new cable. Oh, the, the mic's sounding a bit. Oh, a bit tinny or something. How's it? Hmm. See what you mean. Tell you what, I don't think it's going to be shorter than that. I will uh, we'll do these last couple of things and then we'll leave that in the next stream. Um, because unfortunately I did start a bit late tonight. That's not this notch. Oh, well, I didn't know. Um, yes, I didn't go back. I went straight out after work and didn't go back in till uh, about half an hour before I started. About an hour before I started the stream, so well, it's late tonight. In remembrance of Eden, um, so when you're going to do, so it begins to do like flowers tonight. But then Friday stream we'll do, but we'll do like a longer stream. But do you think Edward that he looks a bit like me? Yeah, I know. But if it, if if I'm right and it is just can he look anything like me? Really? Oh behave yourself. Um Yeah, if it is, like, I see what you mean, there's like a slight, I can only describe it as like a tingy, isn't the sound effect, like, like a, and so it might just be the cables that are dying. Because I'm sure that's what happened before, and then I happened to have a spare cable, so I, I started using the spare one and it fixed it, so it's probably the cable. And I can pick one up for next to now, so... Of Amazon, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, Go last week. So it's to an awesome portal. No problem, I'll be finishing shortly anyway, I will. No problem. Uh My goodness, your commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Ooh. 
How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I think that was the right thing to do. Um. Might do the scan to keep us one off stream actually, it might be. Um we do that one now. I think I've got enough charm now to roll this. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Nice. I 
see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. I think we'll leave it there. Um, so I'll do that keepers one off stream. I think that's the only shuttle there one we've got now, right? Oh, we've got that one, but I don't think we can do any more of that until we do some more missions. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that one off stream, I think. But yeah, let me save the game. Um, and yeah, I might even fire up uh, my this game on the PC just to have a look at what equipment I end up using. Um, right, let's go over to here. Um, yeah, apologies against the short stream. Uh, I, read, I, had, I was like an hour and a half or eight to start the stream with this. That's why the stream is a bit shorter than normal. Um, as I say, I finished work at five and then I went to show up my sisters. Uh, and I was there for a couple of hours. So I didn't get back till like an hour and a half past that stream. I'm sure Dex decided to just play up that. Yes. I'll wait till I get a stream deck. I don't have to faff up this, this app anymore. Uh, let's go to here. We should just save that, didn't we? Just exit the game, there we go. Some music on in the background. Um, yeah, so as I say, we'll be back Friday. Um, I would hope we'll do a long stream of this on Friday. But next, I think, unless, like, um, to be able to do some Stardew Valley or something next week, I think we'll just continue on with this. Um, there is another game, well actually the game that, that, that writes for Nations, what it's called, that's something you'll get for me, but we're going to wait for Phoenix, got his internet, and his new place, to play it with us, which will be the week after next, so, I think, yeah, this Friday, we'll continue on with this, and then next week, Wednesday and Friday, we'll probably do the same, um, unless we want to do some Stardew or something, next Wednesday we can do that, uh, I don't know if I'll check any extra streams in, probably not, let's do one on Monday, I don't know, um yes so we'll see you all on friday uh well, the music you back on i've meant to begin the stream as well like your records which is uh uh dmc free music by my good friend streaming from zero who was said earlier is on a spectacle from his streaming right now because he's moving to a new place on the internet for a couple of weeks so check that out uh, and uh, there's a Discord link, check that out. All Super Dissons YouTube link as well. Hopefully, my plan is I'm gonna think, now that I've got my office set up and I've got a new monitor, there's a few things I'm going to be working on uh, that's been that I haven't been put in the back burner. Moving across from the Streamlabs chatbot to Streambot is quite high on the priority list. I'm going to get that done um, because I can't update my. Uh, OBS or my stream deck software until I move across the stream for so I need to get that done um, I'm also going to get a stream deck as well at some point I don't know when that will be some point in the next few months um, which will not make too different to you because it's, it's, it's more for me really um, I'm also going to look at the light levels at the minute I've got both the lamp and the, the as you can see uh, the, the lamp one, I'm going to have to get some sort of light I was just really good like a key light, but I'd, with this desk, I don't have, I don't see how I've get one on. Um, I think what I might have to do is buy a lamp. For now, um, and then later in the year I'll get a bigger desk, um, and get a key light. But yeah, so we're gonna get so the next thing is some point. I'd, I'm in February now, so it might be the end of this month. Perhaps we'll get, we'll be the next thing. It'll be like once a month we'll get something. So at the end of this month we'll get our next thing, which. I think what did I say? Not going to be the chair. 
Uh, the deck all going to be that's all going to be last. We do need to get a streamer deck, and we need to get a, uh, a new webcam so I can give this one back to the rod. Um, I also need uh, a light. I don't know. I might get the light. That might be the next purchase. I'm sure I've missed something. Oh, I was going to get a second monitor, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to fit another monitor of this size on this desk. I probably won't. So I need that. I'm, I'm either going to have to buy a smaller monitor to set my. I'm going to have to wait. Yes, at monitor until I get the new desk. don't know we'll have to think so possibly get a second one then if not we will either get a light or the webcam possibly and this book will go back to to mr red uh and then gradually the next one will be buying on things i'm sure there's something else i missed apart from the chair the desk the webcam the stream deck and the light i'm sure there was something else and the monitor but i can't think well but i, I do have a, a, a channel with discord i'll be posting the link and uh it's called up the streaming upgrades channel i believe and i'm posting all my um i get something new in that channel yeah please think of upgrades so if i get any new i'll pop it in there i've got any suggestions for upgrades pop it in there uh we'll something we posted some oh you posted all the testing and this good right but i will leave it there for now um and we'll see you all on friday um Actually, with the, two, with the lamp and the light on, it doesn't look too bad, but the um, the cost of hitting both the lamp and the light is a bit ridiculous. But yeah, so we'll, we, we'll look into getting a light. Probably going to be the next purchase. Might have to be a lamp. But I, want, I can't fit. I've got none of a key ring at the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll leave it there. Um, we'll see you all on Friday. Hope to start around 7-ish. Um... I would like to be able to start a bit early on a Friday, but um, I usually go for dinner at my dad's around five-ish uh, with some with other family members. Um, so by the time we're finished, it's usually, by the time we get back in, it's going to be about seven-ish. So I'm going to say, well, actually, I finished work at five. Oh, no, 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 I work on Friday. I don't work Fridays. Um, so, yes. Um, Yeah, I may, I may check an extra team when I sat and I haven't decided yet. Um, depends, it depends how long the stream is on Friday, whether I do an extra team on Saturday. I've got no plans on Saturday, but, um, yeah, we should see, I should see, but we'll be back Friday at 7pm-ish on Friday. Until then, uh, may the awesome be with you, thank you very much for watching, good night everybody. <laughs>